in my city and it's like that. What's good everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Oats Knows with your man Oats from the Ghost. Today I wanted to talk about Rapper's Delight, the hip hop competition that started in the Black Hills and I inherited here in Casper. Um, at one point in time, it was a three state competition and I just wanted to give a brief history over that because it's something that's a staple in our community here in Casper and in Wyoming in the hip hop community. And so if you haven't ever been a part of it, there's a good chance you've heard of it. Uh, if you're a, a rapper, or hip hop artist in Wyoming, even R&B artists. So I just wanted to give a, you know, a brief little overview of that and what it is and how it came to be and stuff like that. So. In my city, and it's like that. Everybody fucking with me, it's like that. Got that auto of the semi, it's like that. If my first encounter with Rapper's Delight was in the Black Hills, and I was invited up there by Jenica and Eric uh, Hauser, aka Half Dead and Guardian Angel, they uh, invited me up there to headline a show. And at this point, I was probably like, maybe a year and a half, two years into doing music and you know what I mean? And getting a chance to headline, whether it's a local show or not, you know what I mean? To me at that time, it was a big deal. So I went up there, super happy, brought all my merch. They showed me hella love. And so the thing that I liked about it was that it was a competition on top of also being just a live hip hop show. So uh, the way that they did it was different than the way that I do it. And I don't really remember a whole lot about their structure, but I do remember that it was uh, competitions in multiple forms and uh, also the performing acts. So I came back from that, uh, came back to Casper from South Dakota, and it was probably maybe a week later. And uh, I'd start getting messages from a dude that was a rapper from here, but he's based out of Colorado. Um, and he was messaging me like, yo, uh, uh, tell your bro Rick, uh, I don't know, basically like watch his back or something, something like this. And to me, it's like, what? And then my bro calls me and he's like, yo, uh, just wanted to let you know, cause you're out in the scene a little bit more. You know what I mean? You, you deal with all this a little bit more that, uh, I just seen dude's brother at the bar, whatever transpired. Uh, and my bro uh, chased him out to his vehicle and dude locked himself in his car to get away from my, my bro. So uh, my bro Rick tells me that at the same time this other dude's messaging me. It's like two in the morning. Something, they woke me up. You know what I mean? So uh, the other dude's basically trying to tell me to like tell Rick to watch his back. And I'm like, yo, like Rick's my brother. So you're tripping. So uh, whatever he's doing is what I'm doing. So. That's what it is. And so that was that. But at the same time, this rapper that I was talking to, he was part of a label and his wife was a, a booking manager and she, they brought a lot of, uh, not a lot, they brought like 90% of all the bigger hip hop acts here. So I was able to uh, usually be an opener for a lot of them. Uh, Chris Calico, Sess Crew, uh, Twisted, uh, do or die. Um, there was just a lot of shows that they brought here that I got to open up for and get exposure and stage experience. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, it is what it is. And my bro's my bro and there ain't nothing changing that. No music ain't nothing, especially at that stage. You know what I mean? I was, especially at any stage, but especially at that stage where music was basically just a, a hobby for notoriety. You know what I mean? So, um, anyway, Fast forward to, um, I'm thinking, well, damn, now how am I going to make up all these shows in Casper, at least? Um, it's probably like, I don't know, six to eight shows a year that I had to try to make up now. And so what I did was uh, a dude named Duke Wallace, I was pretty close to at the time. Um, he was fr He's from Nebraska, Scotts Bluff. And he was doing local shows down there. And um, I just came back from Rapper's Delight the week before where they were doing them in the Black Hills. So what I formulated was uh, I called him. We all had a barbecue at my house. And what, what I pitched to him was 
because there was a competition, the winner of each competition would be offered a headlining slot in the next town. So if you win in Casper, you could go headline in Scotts Bluff. If you win in Scotts Bluff, you could go headline in the Black Hills. You win in the Black Hills, you come headline in Casper or whatever and just pass champions around. It helps with networking, exposure, all that stuff. Um, and it gets your name moving, you know what I mean? Because you're doing shows in other states and you're a headliner. So uh, your name rings a little bit harder, you know what I mean? So that was the plan. That's what we came up with. That's what we did. So as the shows uh went on and progressed, we started, you know, like flipping over rocks and turning up local rappers everywhere, you know what I mean? So next thing you know, if you had, the way I formatted it was uh you had to have three songs because there were three rounds in the competition and you performed your song, the other person performed their song and the crowd would choose the winner eight mile style, you know what I mean? Like I'd be like, yo, what do you think of my man? What do you think of my man? And the crowd would choose. And so um, we did that and we found a lot of rappers, uh, white with sprites, you know what I mean? Q was uh, kind of out there a little bit, but Rapper's Delight really helped him, you know, blossom and uh, get his name out there. Um, Reese, again, he was a little bit out there too, but Rapper's Delight was one of those things that helped cultivate his image and brand and networking. So, uh, White with a Sprite, I don't know if I already said that, but if I didn't, my dog, he uh, he helps me run it now. So from going from just being a, a competitor to now he's the number two in command of the show. So that's, I like to keep it all local and the reasons are networking, exposure, uh, getting your stagecraft down. You know what I mean? All that stuff. Uh, just getting your music out to a new audience, even if you're competing and it's only one song at a time. If you show up, show out. Me and the homies are like, bro, this fool was sick. This chick, uh, this group, you know what I mean? And we'll bounce it around and okay, well, next time homegirl gets a headliner, homeboy gets the opener before the headliner, and then this dude gets to open it. So that's the way we do it. That's the way we've always done it. And that's the way we're going to continue to rock it. So since we're bringing it back, I wanted to go over this because it's been a couple years and we fell off. A lot of people don't remember what it used to be like. A lot of people have never been there. Um, some people might have forgot and some people just miss it and they want the refresher because literally everywhere I go, all the all the shows that I go to, everywhere where people notice me, it's when am I going to bring Rapper's Delight back? When am I going to bring Rapper's Delight back? So it's been needed in the community. And here we are, we're going to bring it back. So again, uh, the format of it is openers, round one, uh, competitions, opener, round two, competitions, headliner, final round of the competition. So any would-be artists, any artists who have signed up and uh, haven't competed before, and any other other uh, artists I've been calling vets, any vet artists, you know what it is. You got to get out there. You got to promote. You got to get your crowd in there because at the end of the day, the crowd decides your fate as far as moving on in the in the show. But don't let that get you discouraged if you don't promote as heavy as another artist because, like I said, if you show up, show out, guess what? Next show, we need headliners. We need openers. And there's a, that's a free set right there. You know what I mean? So come, come with your A game, be ready to network, be ready to do your thing. And I'll be ready to have you there. Oh, out.